Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this beautiful 2022 Winnebago Bolt. It's a nice uh, fresh morning out here today. Uh, we're going to get started right here. This is going to be on the Sprinter chassis, which is 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. We're going to have our aluminum Alcoa wheels. This is a 4x4 BL floor plan on the bolt, which is really nice to have. Plenty of ground clearance and power to get you through some difficult uh, conditions. We're going to have our fixed running board. does have two tie down rings on the ends also some lights good spot to tie down uh, put a leash on there maybe a bike if you want to tie down a bike lock it up before you go on a hike we've got our 13 foot awning with LED lights up right now plenty of coverage from uh, those sunny days Right here on the rear of the coach, we're going to have our external solar port, so you can plug in an additional solar panel outside if you want. We're going to have a 12 volt and a cable connection here, and then underneath here we're going to have two standard 110 outlets. On the rear of the van here, we're going to have our backup camera up top. And also our antenna. This comes equipped with a, a ladder. I say it every video, but I'll say it again. Do not climb on it when it's back here. This is just for storage. You move it around to the side and then you can climb up on to access your solar panels, uh, do any kind of cleaning or maintenance you need to do. We're gonna have a 5,000 pound tow hitch here with a seven pin connector. While I'm back here, I'll go ahead and show you guys the back of the van here. We're going to have our outdoor shower with hot and cold. Quick connect for your hose. Also a water pump switch right here. And we're going to have our rear light up top. On this side, we're going to have a little bit of storage. Here's your shower hose. And as you can see, we have our roll left screen here on the back. And we'll also have one on the side. This will provide your blackout for the rear. Also give you uh, some nice fresh air circulating through here if you want to do that on a warm day. Up top up here, you can see the table base. This is where you would store your base. And right here is where you would actually set your table up. That's where the table base goes. You can see we've got a couple of speakers back here. So you can listen to your favorite music back in the back of the van when you're laying down or just hanging out, playing cards. All right, we're gonna have another cable inlet right here. And then you're going to have your 30 amp shore power connection right there. Nice thing about the Winnebago Bolt is this comes with the Pure 3 system, which is a lithium 48 volt battery pack basically that gives you 30 amp service to your coach without having to be plugged in. You get 12,800 watt hours out of that system. It's super cool. Down here is going to be your gray tank drain and your black tank drain. And then you also have a drain at the back of the van right here. So this does come with two sewer hoses, one for each tank. One for the shower, one for your sink. Right here we're going to have our city water connection and our tank fill connection and also our black flush inlet. And then our Truma exhaust. Down at the bottom, you're going to see our propane tank. 
quick connect now this is all electric coach but that is that does go along with your quick connect uh, in case you want to set up a grill Here's our diesel fuel. Okay, diesel, not gas. Make sure you remember that. It'll be very expensive if you forget. Okay, we're gonna have our seat controls here. This does have power heated seats. I really like the Bolt. It's a nice little upgraded, bigger version of the Revel in my opinion. It's got a couple of more luxury items like the heated seats, power seats. You're going to have your lights here, mirrors and door locks there. And then I'll go over the rest of the cab once we go inside. You know what? Let me pop this hood open for you. All right, again, this is the three liter 188 horsepower turbo diesel. Things I always point out right here is your positive connection for your battery in case you have to jump somebody or jump start yourself here. And then here is your ground. I'll point that out. It's right here. You have your windshield washer fluid right here. coolant you're deaf all right out here you can see you can actually use this as a step if you need to climb up to clean part of the bugs off of your windshield you can step up there again it's a beautiful coach four by four with plenty of room inside. Okay, right here is gonna be your gravity fill for your tank and also your winterizing valve. As you can see right here, we've got our table. This works really well with the back seat. You can rotate the back seat around, spin it around, put the table down. Gives you a nice little dining area. You can also use it as a counter extension right here you need uh, additional prep area or you can turn it like this and rotate your seat around storage it just basically sits right here behind your seat so we come in down here you can see we have a fire extinguisher we actually have another 110 outlet here and two USBs now the ram mount that's right here is kind of hidden by the roll left screen but this is really nice solid grab bar to help you get in and out of the van you can take this table off and store it in the back if you want while you're traveling and then you also get another table for this side for your passengers got some really good storage here we got some over the cab storage up top Up here, you're gonna have some more outlets. You're gonna have two more 110s, 12 volt, and two more USBs. Of course, you get your Winnebago manuals, plenty of reading material, more RAM mounts throughout here. We got another one here with the basket so you can store some miscellaneous items. And again, one more 12 volt and two more USB ports. All right, here in the main control area, we're gonna have our water tank heater and our holding tank heater, and also our one place tank level so we can check our battery level, tank levels. Right now we're, at, we're showing 30 amp service and that's because our Volta system is on. Here's our Truma furnace, which I do have, well, had it on earlier. It's kind of chilly in case you haven't noticed. That's these the light for your bathroom. Right, this does have the wet bath. There's a water pump switch right behind this, right next to the shower head up there. It's 
Got a nice size window here with screens. And you get a basket here to put your shampoo and all your other items. All right, down here we're gonna have our uh, microwave. It's locked up for me. Uh, this is, as you can see right here, if you'll kind of zoom in here. It's a really nice size Greystone microwave. Uh, you got baked potato settings, popcorn settings. If you're anything like me, I can have popcorn for snack at midnight. That's my favorite go-to snack. Nice storage under here. Then we've got our refrigerator. Plenty of room to open the fridge door here, even though it's in the middle of the galley, between the galley and the, the shower, but you got plenty of room to load up. Another drawer. A nice solid sink cover with cutting board on the opposite side. And then again, another basket on this ram mount up here. Open up these storage compartments here just so you can see how much storage is in this bolt. We've got three huge compartments up top on the passenger side. And then back here, you're going to have another two, two dual uh, 110 outlets. You have your TV cable and then an HDMI cable port. Back here, plenty of storage. This is a really deep cabinet back here. You've got your floor mat for the front, your blackout shades. More storage here. And then this, this one here has adjustable shelves. In case you have some taller items, you can adjust these shelves really easily. And then down here in the bed area. So this is the BL floor plan, like I mentioned. So you do have the, the two twins that you can use as, um, for you know sleeping two that way. If you want to combine them, this just pulls out. These two cushions kind of fill the gap and you have one big bed. Underneath here, we're going to have some storage. Let me move this here. All right. All right, under here you got one big tub, one big uh, storage compartment here. You've got two small ones here. Pretty good sized bins. This one you can fit a lot of stuff. It kind of looks like a cooler to me. I'm not sure, it's probably not what it's made for, but I would probably use it as a cooler. It's a nice place to put some bottles of water. Under here are your breakers. It's important to know where those are because as I've said before, if something goes wrong, always check your power, your power sources. Turn everything off, turn everything back on. Okay, back on this side, we're gonna have another set of USB ports, 12 volt and then 110 with GFI. Got a really nice TV and sound bar back here in the living area, bedroom area. And I wanna point out the, again, the Volta system. This is a Really cool feature of the bolt. As you saw in the monitor back here, it shows that it's hooked up to 30 amp, even though we're not hooked up. It's just that uh, Pure 3 system. That allows you to run everything, the furnace, the air conditioner. Then up front here, can't tell but these seats are super comfortable, really soft, uh, would make a, a long trip nice and relaxing you wouldn't be so stressed out you'd be comfortable get there your back wouldn't be hurting nice 10 inch touch screen go ahead and fire it up all right again there's a ton of features on this 
always like to point out a couple of things. One, it does have your Apple CarPlay. If you go to apps, go to smartphone, you can have your Android Auto or your CarPlay. You have all your manuals on here. You can make your phone calls, navigation, listen to your favorite station. And then you can also adjust your settings. This does have backup uh, camera. You have different settings. So you can check your surroundings. And it's got one for your trailer if you got hooked up to your trailer back here. So it's really nice. It gives you a lot of different features. You can control that on the steering wheel here. Right here, this functions as a mouse, so you can adjust your, you can scroll through the steering wheel and access that. On the left side, this is gonna actually control this over here, your displays. You have your adaptive cruise. You can set how far or how close you wanna be to the car in front of you. You have your voice controls here for your phone. And again, plenty of cup holders. Now, I want to point out down here, we have our, this is where you would put your key. A lot of folks don't even know it's down there because it will actually start with the key up here, just like most push start button vehicles, but it's always better, best practice to plug it in down here. Just keeps it uh, communicating with the system a lot better. Up top here, we're going to have our USB type C ports. Again, remember those are type C. Right here, you're going to have, that's where you would plug in if you want to go directly to your stereo system. And then you have two charging ports. You also have a wireless charging pad right here. Two more cup holders on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. And that is it for this Winnebago Bolt. Again, this is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Um, safe, you get crosswind assist, you get lane assist, adaptive cruise. Uh, if you have questions on this or any other van or Class A or any of the coaches on our lot, please feel free to give me a call. You can shoot me a text or an email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys for watching. Stay warm and I'll see you guys next time.